Welcome back to the channel. Today I bought a 135 special edition fix up and to sell. A few issues with it. The power deck needs attention. It vibrates. If you put it all the way to the ground, it's hitting the ground right there. Two and a half. It's all the way down. You raise it up. It's not even. This side's lower. The paint on the hood. I don't know what that is, but we'll probably buff that out. The motor runs rough. He needs a new spindle. Probably new uh, idler pulleys. I'm gonna take the deck off. there all right I blew it out never ever been cleaned before because you can tell whatever all the grass was that's where the paint is peeling so you gotta clean the deck every year couple times a couple times a year I'm gonna take all this apart listen to that this is what it's supposed to sound like Take this apart, take a good picture. You won't remember how to put them back, how to put it back together. because this arm wasn't attached and it was that's why it was hanging on this side it was lower on this side than the other and the noise that a pulley that must have made quite the noise so this next day working on the 135 John Deere uh, we're working on the deck um, I welded the uh, a few spots here that had a minor crack in it they usually crack here and of course there and there. It's also welded underneath. And uh, I also welded, beefed up the weld here and here too, because these things don't last long. They get smashed on trees and they uh, put a lot of strain here and they usually crack. So it's all welded up there now. I'm gonna put the mini grinder to it. Finish mini grinding it. Probably took a half hour. I 
I'll just finish with the uh, wire wheel there. Put it in the back here. I guess you could paint it like that with that poor 15 paint there, but uh, I'm gonna sandblast it. So, All right, my sandblasts are ready to go. I'm gonna sandblast the deck. Uh, took about an hour, two and a half bags of sand, with 12 bucks a bag, not too bad. If you go to a sandblasting uh, place to get the sandblast, probably cost you about a hundred bucks. It's well worth it. I'm gonna put a coat of uh, Pour 15 paint, the best uh, rust paint ever. It's all done. 25 minutes later, one good coat, top and bottom. Let it dry for six to eight hours and you can sand it smooth and uh, put a coat of paint on it. It's all dry, uh, I'm gonna block sand this part. This is what you see the most. Just make it a little smoother. So I got 320 grit just to, to sand the, the crisscross pattern. All right, finish sanding it. Take the high spots off. Just the mower deck. Don't have to be 100%, but that'll look a lot better. I'm gonna clean her up with the wax and grease remover and uh, put a coat of uh, yellow paint on it. For the underneath, I uh, scuffed it with 320 grit sandpaper and I uh, cleaned her up with the wax and grease remover. She's ready to put another coat of paint on it. I'm gonna use the uh, the stone shield rock guard. Just give it one good coat, let that dry for a couple hours. All right, so I'll let it dry. There's one tough coating right there. It'll last a long, long time. All right, we'll paint the outside in the yellow now. So I finished with the uh, first coat. I'm gonna test it here. Yeah, she's uh, it's all dry, it's not tacky at all. Uh, put my second coat on. I'll paint it up and dry. We're gonna put her back together. First, we're gonna sharpen the blades. There's like a couple couple ways. There's a couple ways to sharpen the blade. Um, you can use a mini grinder, sanding disc. You can use a file, and you can use a grinding wheel. the file that works pretty good but the grinding wheel with the grinding disc works the best I gotta put the uh, 42 inch uh, mower deck back together. I got all my parts all greased up, ready to go in. 
First thing, pick your two rods, slide right in these two holes, one there, one there. And I put some uh, little nickel anti-seize or grease, this doesn't really matter. Stick that in there. Three, put that there, put that there, cap in, put this spacer, your spring goes in like this. This this goes into this hole here, spring. I lift up on it, you can see it. And it fits into that uh, spacer. Good. And the other part of the, the other part of the spring goes into the notch. Bring that back. This one goes into the hole. Put your nut here. Now the other side, same thing. Spring. This piece here. So I got a nickel anti seize on everything. You could use hard grease if you want. And there's the thing for your spring. to the groove here and the rod goes in the hole. This on uh, on wrench setting puts about 50 foot pounds of torque on it. That's the proper torque. Uh, put the uh, grease nipple on the outside. Do the same for the other side. All right, put your pulleys in, grab this, pull it back, that's for your brake. You make sure that when this is released, that this rod is loose, so actually pushing pressure on the pulley to stop it. Okay, that's the other side. And, yeah, perfect. Twenty two mil. Out. Covers. Tighten the wheel. Apply a 
grease the axles. Alrighty. Hey, forget this thing. And your arms. Little spring washer there is missing. I got a that goes between the arm and the the bracket here. Oh, I got them on order. All right, uh, one more thing: the spring, the rod here, and and right here. One last thing is the shoot. There, the deck's all done. Looks good. Alright, if you like this uh, video, press thumbs up. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel, click below. Thank you for watching.